My name is Logan Holland and I'm here with the Junior American Board Goat Association okay. and I was wondering if you could tell me a little about Colorado State today. Sure, so um, specifically you know Colorado State is a land grant university. It's one of those big schools that was set up to service agriculture and it has kept uh, faith to this mission. Uh, so there's uh, in the at CSU we have the College of Ag and this is where I belong and I'm in the agricultural biology department which then focuses specifically on pest management. And in that department, we look at uh, weed management, insect management, and disease management. And my area is, of expertise is how plants become resistant to herbicides. And so we work with the farmers to try to solve very applied problems, but we do that using very basic science, going to the lab, getting the genes out, sequencing the genes, see if there's mutations, uh, or what other ways can the plant become resistant to the to the herbicide in that particular case. And then uh, we try to find solutions for the farmers to overcome these issues. Um, so I know that there are 2% of farmers like in the whole world. So with that, we are not gaining any more land. We are actually getting less land each and every day. So can you kind of talk about how that what you do is very important to the farmers and producing enough food for everybody? Yeah, so that is one aspect is, of course, the more more productivity we get on the smallest unit of land, the less impact on the environment and the more revenue for the farmer. So working together, uh, we use integrated pest management approaches, which then considers the crop rotations, the herbicides that are being used, the insecticides, the fungicides that are being used, uh, as well as using biocontrol, non-chemical ways of controlling pests. Uh, in a way to uh, provide optimum productivity with as little impact on the environment. All right, well, thank you so much. I have learned a lot today.